Welcome back to another edition of Trial of Fire. I'm back. Last time you saw me was back on St. Patrick's Day. If you ever watch other videos, that is. If you watch my live, <laughs> um, I did. I did pretty good on the live. If you saw my little live that I put up after that, not so much. I did the 2023's one chip challenge. I've done 22's, 21's. I had some pain, the gut rot kind of thing for a little bit here and there, but 23's wrecked me. It uh, it truly wrecked me to the point that I will no longer be doing the one chip challenge. I will do other challenges like chocolate ones, things like that, but because of the dryness of that chip, I think that's what the issue was for me. So therefore I have sworn off doing the one chip challenge. There are other chip challenges out there, like the salty one I've debated about. A lot of salt though, not good for my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyways, on to today's video. So I am going to be trying a wonderful sauce. I'm hoping it's a wonderful sauce from an amazing company. Great people, great sauces. And yeah, I, I don't have enough good words to say about these people. Ginger goat is the company and the Tropic Star is the sauce I will be trying. It is one of their new ones, if not their newest one. I picked this one up a few months ago now. Uh, so figured it's about time that I give it a try and what a better way to come back than with a, uh, a great company. So this one is a mango, lemongrass and star anise hot sauce. So we got mango, nice and sweet, lemongrass, got a nice flavor to it, and black licorice. I'm not sure how they're all going to work together, but I'm hoping it's a 4 out of 5 heat on their heat scale. Heat, flavor, or fun. Oh, sorry, heat, flavor, and fun for your mouth, <laughs> or not, or fun. Um, let's see here. Sweet and ripe mangoes play with the citrusy notes of the lemongrass and the unique taste of star anise. The heat from this sauce comes straight from the mad scientist himself, smoking Ed Curry, and a peach blend of some of the hottest and tastiest peppers. The sauce will be take a starring role for your palate and keep you safe from vampires because it's a ray of sunshine. Okay, let's check out the ingredients here, what we have. We have apple cider vinegar, uh, mangoes, rice vinegar, uh, bell peppers, super hot peach mashed peppers, distilled vinegar, lemon juice, cider, sorry, lemon juice, uh, ginger, carrots, uh, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, lemongrass, sea salt, and then sugars. And cilantro, star anise, and white pepper. So it does have a very interesting uh, combination of flavors in here. And again, Ginger Goat, amazing company. They're out of Conestoga, Ontario. And so Kitchener area, roughly, if you don't. Ontario at all, or if you don't know Ontario, it's about an hour away from Toronto. And anyways, so yeah, this is going to be an interesting sauce to try. So I just got to find a way to open it. Get me my trusty spoon and my wonderful knife to open with. If I can, is there a soap pull tab? I see no pull tab. So I will create my own pull tab. So it's got a fairly thin uh, texture to it. Like it's not super thick, but it doesn't appear to be like the runniest of sauces I've ever had. But. Uh, in all fairness, I've, I haven't had all of Ginger's sauces. I've had their peaches and scream, 
we got the beets and the original. So I have had three of their sauces already. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. I've had their popcorn. I've had the beer nuts. So yeah, I've had a, a few a few products from them. So give this an inhale. Ooh, that's got a wonderfully amazing smell. You can smell the mango. You can smell the garlic. So you get the sweet, you get the kind of spicy. So many flavors hitting my nostrils right now. So let's give this a bit of a pour. The only, I wouldn't say drawback to this, but maybe for some people, is it looks like runny mustard. And some people who aren't into mustard might have an issue with this. Not me, I love mustard. Smells so good. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <coughs> she got a kick. <coughs> <coughs> Not sure what all peppers are in here, but from Ed, that could be anything. Um. <coughs> I actually haven't had anything on a spicy scale. I've had things with spices in them, but I have not had anything spicy since St. Patrick's Day, <clears throat> since I had the chip. So my taste, my, my tolerance is like dropped drastically. Um, so I'm not sure what's in here that's making me go, yeah. Because the taste is like absolutely amazing. The heat. Not what I expected. It's a little hotter than I thought, but it's a four out of five. Um, I would put it currently with me because it's already gone. A uh, small residual, but 99% gone. The taste is still there. I would put this one for heat wise maybe at a one and a half, two for me right now. Let's try some more, see if that changes. Because it is a good sauce. Uh, same as last time. Not overdoing it, but. Let's see if I can get some more flavors there. <clears throat> it's hitting right here, right at the top of the throat. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm tasting the carrots or if it's in my mind. But yeah, taste wise, I'd give that solid 8 out of 10 for taste. Yeah, maybe, maybe a 1.75 for heat. Not quite a two. But Ginger Goat, done an amazing sauce again. These guys always do. Uh, <clears throat> can't wait to go to uh, Goat Fest and, uh, or Ginger Fest, I think it's Goat Fest. Um, in October, I think is what it is, to try things there. But, whew. Tingly still, again. Yeah, so about 1.75 on the heat scale for me right now. Uh, taste wise, 8 out of 10. Pretty much wraps up for this one. But I am saying thank you for all of you who are watching, who have come back. I know my two or three weeks off may have changed things with the algorithm and whatnot. But I'm glad I'm, I'm back. I'm glad, hopefully, you guys are watching this. I do have more videos to eventually start coming out. They may not be on my normal schedule right now because I have started another channel. I'll have the links below. A reaction channel that I was putting on hold for a while as well. So I started working on that while I was off. Um, and one joining me on most of those is Michelle, who you've seen on this channel before. It's hard for me to react to a lot of stuff because I've seen so many movies. So many TV shows, listen to so much music. So it's more a reaction of watching her 
or myself on the other one that I haven't seen before. But anyways, enough of that. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time with who knows what I'm going to be trying. And again, Ginger Goats, Tropic Star.